Hello guys, uh, welcome to AT module seven, creating class from UML diagram. So step one, creating classes from UML diagram. Create the structure of the card class based on the following UML diagram. So underneath the source ATA, there's a class called card.java. And we have a printer, color, make, model, car, right? So whatever it has a lock is a private. So private, printer, printer, you put right here. And private, string, color, and private, string, make, and private, string, model. To that, uh, we have a method. M is referred to method. Public car, it has a three string, three arguments, string color, string make, and string model. So we have to call the method like this dot color equal to color, this dot make equal to make, this dot model equal to model, and printer equal to new printer. So right here, and then you see add karamata from your own diagram below, right? So karamata means get color, get make, get model. So public string get color, return color. Public string get make, return make. Public string get model, return model. And then we have to add the method start and stop, right? I'm just talking according to the diagram, but we can just go ahead and see what is happening here. So we say there are three private attribute of tile stream called color, make, model. We already put that up there and there's another private attribute custom custom printer type called printer. It has a constructor that takes in three string parameter. While not shown the constructor should order the parameter in this order color, make and model. It has three public parameter for the attribute, three public parameter here. And here's has two other public matter to start and start the car. Okay, so step two. We have created a structure for the car, implement the constructor by setting each parameter value to its corresponding attribute, which means this dot color equal to color. Okay, and then initializing the printer attribute to a new instance of the printer class. It means we initialize the printer value to new printer class. And then set our data method by returning the respective private attribute, right? It's right here. And then implement the step and store method by calling the printer object print method. What it means is bubbly wise dot. And we have to call the printer object print method, right? So calling the printer method means printer dot print. And with the string starting, so the starting should be the string and the attribute color make model for the start method. So color make model. Same thing, calling the printer object print method with the string stopping. So bubbly y stop printer dot print stop in color make model and then what oh that's right and then what good is a game that doesn't have a player in this stuff you will be creating the player class beat of another UML diagram. Uh create the structure of player class based on the following UML diagram. So we have to create the player class. 
an empty player class has been provided for you. So we don't need to create it. If it's not there, you can just click on ATA and just click new at the top left corner and choose file. And you can type the name here, like player or Java, right? So it's a new file and then just simply submit button. But in this case, we already have a player class. We will just cancel it. And let's go to player class. So always make sure there's a package con dot uh, at the top of the class. And then inside the public class player, class player, we have a, there's a one private attribute of type car called car. So private car car. And it has a contrast that, that takes in a car object as its parameter. So public player constructor is public player car car this top car equal to car and it has a two method to stop and start and stop the game so we have a public wise dot game and public wise dot game right and then let's see how to create a start game method uh, this line is implement the constructor by setting the passing parameter for the constructor to the car attribute. It means this one, car car, this dot car equals car. And implement the start game method by calling the start method of the car object. So car dot, whenever we call the method of the car object, we put the car in the front. So car dot stop and then this one is the same thing. Implement the stop game method by calling the stop method of the car object. So car dot stop. That's it. And then just simply run run workflow step um zero four right. Uh, or in this case, I'm going to just go ahead and do the test all. So it's Bill Sasafu. This is his guy. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.